Mark. Welcome to my home. This is just a tech tip video. Um, not about tires. Uh, it looks like tires, but not going to be about tires today. That's a can of worm I, worms I don't want to open. <laughs> um, but today is about pressure gauges and a little tech tip that you should be aware of. Now, um, this is my spare. It's an ST20575 R14. It's a Class C tire. Um, it's, uh, will carry 1,760 pounds at 50 PSI. So I've inflated this to 50 PSI. Whatever you decide to inflate your tires to, it is important that you be accurate with it, right? If you, if, if you want your tires to be at 50, um, you want them to be at 50. But how many of you are using these little kind of of uh, tire pressure gauges. I want to show you something really ugly about them. These little guys, little cheap guys, you get what you pay for, ladies and gentlemen. Um, some of these are very inaccurate. So let's take this. I just filled my tire up. This tire is 50 PSI. This is a digital gauge and I've calibrated it and I trust it. So we'll hope you can see this, but I'm at 50.9. I brought that up just a little bit so that as we go through this test and this tire loses a little bit of pressure each time I push it on, um, it'll still be very, very close to 50. So a second time, 50.9. Now that's a digital gauge and digital gauges are great. They're very accurate. But the thing that I find about them is I put them in my toolbox, um, my little, uh, um, toolkit that I go with it and every time I need it I reach in there and the battery's dead. I kind of hate that. So what I've done this is a very very high quality truckers um, um, pressure gauge. Um, it's called a true test special made by Schrader. Um, very, very nice. Yeah, truckers use this because you can push it on here and you can also reach to your inside tire and pull it on here. But we know that this is this tire because this digital gauge says it's 59, um, uh, 50.9. So we're going to go ahead and measure with this guy. And if we look, um, that is, that says it's, You can see there's marks on each one. That's really nice. As you rotate it around, you can get one additional point. That is 51. So 50.9 is very close to 51. So this guy and this guy agree. Let's start looking at what some of these little guys say, these cheap ones that you'll find at 7-Eleven and stuff. First thing you notice is you can't get this sit on there right now. Well, this guy says um, 58. <laughs> 58. This guy says 61. This guy says 51. This guy says 
48. So you can see some of these guys at, especially this one, at 61. This is 10 pounds off. 10 pounds. It's pretty ugly. Um, so if I were, to, if I trusted this, I would let 10 pounds out of here. And instead of running at 60 or at 50 PSI like I need to, I'd actually be running at 50 PSI. So what I want to get you out of this is don't trust these little guys. They're, don't trust these little guys. Get yourself a quality, a really good quality pressure gauge. Um, I like these. These are really, really accurate. But like I say, unless you're going to be carrying batteries with you all the time, when you reach in to get to use this, um, it'll be it'll be dead on you. That's happened to me three or four times. So this is what I travel with. I keep this in my shop, but this is the one that I travel with. Anyway, um, maybe one day we'll do a, a video about tires, but this one's just about pressure cages. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Drive safe. Thank you.